Is this too bright? I don't know. So, on Tuesday, guess what I did? I went to the ER. Not a good idea. I don't really like talking about being sick because, you know, I don't really like to complain about it. I'm sucking up. But um, I told my parents finally, after like a month, and my mom freaked out and she wanted to take me to the ER. So we ended up going to the ER at 8 o'clock on Tuesday night. So we walk in and I've never been, well, I've been to the ER maybe once before, like a long, long time ago for like a stomach virus or something or food poisoning. I don't know what it was, but ever since then I haven't eaten um, deli turkey. <laughs> deli turkey. I didn't know that homeless people pretended that they were sick so they can get out bed at the hospital because that's what was going on Tuesday night when I walked into the ER waiting room. So anyway, we went in and um, I fill out the, there was like a form you fill out and I filled it out and I was called right away and the nurse checked my um, checked my temperature, my blood pressure, yada 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 and she said go ahead on to the waiting room I said okay well, I don't know what's going on but whatever so me and my mom it was me and my mom and so me and my mom went and sat in the waiting room. My mom and I were waiting for three hours. Everybody was coming in and getting called. As soon as they came in, they got called and sent off somewhere. And I started wondering, like, what the? F why are we being called? What's up? It's been three freaking hours. I want to go home already. And um, <laughs> so he finally registers me. He puts me in. Oh, okay, this is, this, is, this is beautiful because I got there at 8.11. That's what my paper said. And he puts me in the system at 11.30. And he says, okay, you can go register now. I'm like, aren't you going to come in and tell the people I've been here since 8 o'clock? You know, like, they're going to think I just showed up and I'm going to be last to be served or whatever. Just doing that was hell because the lady who was um, trying to register me was um, about to go home. Like it was the end of her shift. She didn't want to deal with anything. So she was doing everything really quickly and this was making me anxious. Like, like um, because I've already been there for three hours. So I was really stressed out that she wasn't being more personal I don't know like <laughs> I just felt like everybody was out to get me that night she goes oh there isn't an extra bed for you so you're gonna have to go all the way back there in the corner you see and um sit in the asthma room all the way in the back where nobody's gonna see you for the next three hours so um yeah I wasn't happy about that we um we waited, and as I was waiting, this really morbidly obese lady came in with her morbidly obese friend, <sighs> having an asthma attack. And I just was laughing to myself, like, <laughs> you're having a freaking asthma attack because you're like 500 pounds and you're 5'4". So there was um, several homeless people there, and there was one homeless man. He was a little black man, and he had like little curly hair, like really tight. And um, he had like a big ass ball spot on the side of his head, and he just kept scratching, scratching at it. And I'm like, ew. <laughs> Which is really funny because when he went inside of the triage, um, the head nurse says to him that she yelled at him actually. She said she said to stop scratching because um, he was making her itch. It's making me itch right now. Just thinking about it. What was funny was that 
he got up from his seat and he went to this corner of the ER waiting room and there was like a bag of leftover Chinese food somebody had left and he just picked it up opened it and started eating it you gotta do what you gotta do and then a few minutes later he gets up and he goes into the garbage can and pulls out um, you know those uh, snacks where I forget what they're called but um, they're like they've got crackers and then like they got the cheese you dip the cracker into and you eat it he found one of those in the garbage and he started eating those then a few minutes later he comes back in the waiting room and he's got like a box of cookies where'd he get this stuff I don't know probably from the garbage pretty freaking gross so the fat girl the, the fat girl with the asthma she she was special she actually I, she actually made me laugh um, while I was there I was feeling kind of um, anxious because they had asked my mom to leave so I was by myself and I didn't like that but she made it somewhat entertaining to be there because she just kept fucking with the um with the people who worked there this ain't Woodhall Hospital this is Woodkill Hospital I'm hungry give me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich I'm a vegetarian with some milk and then there was a crazy guy who looked like he looked like Seal you know the artist Seal the singer a crazy one he sat next to my mom I felt bad and he was just talking the whole time and he was talking to me because I was talking to my mom in Spanish and I think in his little crazy mind he thought I was arguing with my mom I don't know, maybe because we talk fast. Like, I'm talking to my mom, and he's next to my mom, and he just turns around and starts talking to me. They'll set you in community college. You need to stop chasing them boys and go to school. You are right. You don't, don't end up like me. Don't end up like me. <laughs> so, yeah, he looked like, um, he looked like Seal's crackhead. Reject cousin from Brooklyn. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I didn't get out of the hospital until like 4.30. I didn't get out. And it was so bad because it was so cold. And it was really late. I just wanted to go home and sleep. But I was glad to be out of there. And I was glad that they said I didn't have anything wrong. So I'm never going back, um, hopefully, to the ER. It really sucks. And um, isn't it interesting how I am, my backgrounds always change? I'm like never in the same place when I make a video. I'm either, I'm never in the same room. And usually I'm in somebody else's room. I'm never in my house for some reason. I don't know. I just feel compelled to make a video when I'm somewhere else. When I'm at home, I just want to lounge and not be bothered. And, um, let me see. Updates. Um, I'm starting a uh, school again. It's never ending. I'm starting school again on Monday. And I've got tons of classes and I took them um, early this time no evening classes and what else um I should have some interesting stories when school starts hopefully what else what else is there nothing okay so I'll see you later Ciao.